welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students today we are going to solve a question which is based on the topic of indices the question is 2 raised to 100 plus 3 raised to 100 and 4 raised to 100 which is greater between the two entities okay so now in order to solve something like this you have to have a very clear or very uh, very strong hold of your indices okay so in case you don't know that please let me know so in the comment section i will definitely try to make a separate video on that now over here see before beginning with this let's try and write 3 raised to 5 and 4 raised to 4 now understand 3 raised to 5 3 raised to 5 is nothing but 243 and 4 raised to 4 is nothing but 256 okay so between the two i can say that 4 raised to 4 is greater now let's write 3 raised to 96 and 4 raised to 96 and now let's multiply both of them when you multiply both of these we get what 3 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 96 and here we have 4 raised to 4 into 4 raised to 96 so here we have something like see please understand whenever you have the same base with different index multiplied with each other means a raised to m multiplied to a raised to n your answer now becomes a raised to m plus n so this becomes 96 plus 5 and this becomes 4 raised to 96 plus 4 and we can definitely carry this inequality down because these two were equal okay sorry these two were raised to the same power so i can definitely say that 3 is less than 4 so i can say that 3 raised to 96 will definitely be less than 4 raised to 96 so here this becomes 3 raised to 101 which is lesser than 4 raised to 100 i hope till now you are clear students if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos now over here since my question was 3 raised to 100 I will write this as nothing but 3 into 3 raised to 100 which is smaller than 4 raised to 100. Why because see 3 raised to 101 can also be written as 3 raised to 1 into 3 raised to 100 this is vice versa okay. So now over here see I have a 2 in a picture in my question whenever you're solving something like this you always have to keep your question in mind okay so here let's write this 3 as nothing but 2 plus 1 into 3 raised to 100 this is still going to be lesser than 4 raised to 100 now this what you're getting is 2 times let's open this bracket 3 raised to 100 plus 3 raised to 100 which is lesser than 4 raised to 100 correct so now please understand this 2 times 3 raised to 100 can be written as what 3 raised to 100 plus 3 raised to 100 and there is this one more 3 raised to 100 so which will be written as it is okay and now let's compare this to the entities given in the question so we have 2 raised to 100 plus 3 raised to 100 okay now understand if we even try to compare this and this will cancel out okay but there are still 3 raised to 100 and one more 3 raised to 100 and that we need to compare with 2 raised to 100 so here i can say definitely this is going to be greater so if you want to write this properly i can say 2 raised to 100 plus 3 raised to 100 will be smaller than this two can be written together like whatever we have written over here 2 times 3 raised to 100 plus 3 raised to 100 students don't forget at the end of this video i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you can mention in the comment section okay the trick to solve that question will also be similar to whatever i've done in this particular video so please do go ahead and check that out okay so now coming back over here i can say that this entity is greater than 2 raised to 100 plus 3 raised to 100 so by default i can say that this particular 4 raised to 100 is the larger one between the two quantities given 
okay so now time for your diy i want you all to tell me between 5 raised to 100 and 3 raised to 100 plus 3 raised to 100 or the other quantity is 8 raised to 100 do let me know which one is the greater one so that's it for today i will see you in the next video